Hey, good morning everybody. Today we're going to be doing light rye loaf. So, we wanted some rye bread. So, we're going to add one and a half cups lukewarm water. Two teaspoons lemon juice. And you know what? I'm in California, so we're going to do fresh squeezed lemon juice. I can not make a huge mess getting it over here. One. Two. Two tablespoons sunflower oil. And you know me, I'm lazy. We don't have sunflower oil. But we do have canola oil. We'll call it good. So, one, two, three cups white bread flour. I've got that. What I don't have ready are some knives. I'm always knife poor. Here we go. Oh, uh, see? It's all about proper prep work here. And I'm not properly prepped. You know, we will do. Let's clean up some of my mess, y'all. There we go. Back in business. One. Two. Three more. All right. Put that anywhere Put it over here. Next up. One and a quarter cups rye flour. So that's where we had to go to our natural food store. Because I'll tell you, I can't go to my local Safeway and get rye flour. They don't have it. So luckily, we have a place called Harvest House here. And even better, they have coupons. So I think my rye was 99 cents a pound, which is pretty steep. One and a quarter cups. One. And somewhere here we're going to have to find a quarter cup measure. Which actually is going to be a problem, isn't it? Dope. One. Quarter cup right now. So at the Harvest House, I had two choices. I had dark rye or pumpernickel rye. So I went ahead and went with dark rye. All right. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Making messes here. One, we'll have to do that. Okay. You can tell I've never made this before. Let's see. One. And I hear if I wanted a half, I could do four of the eights. One. Two, three, four eighths to make a half. And let's see where we're going from here. One and a half tablespoon light brown sugar. Let's see. Let's 
see. So if three of these will be a tablespoon. One, two, three. And how are we going to do our half tablespoon? I have a half tablespoon, genius. There we go. Uh, let's see. One tablespoon's cumin seeds toasted. So I already did that. So I toasted some cumin seeds. The first batch I over toasted and they looked a little dark, so I went ahead and redid it. So we'll try to, try to sprinkle that over. That should get well incorporated. And one teaspoon yeast. measuring spoon pour so we have to reuse uh, one teaspoon what does it say probably says make a small indentation and put it in so there we go just to follow directions it's just that easy everybody we'll fit this into the machine we have to clean the rim a little bit of excess flour so we don't get the machine so dirty. Make sure it's set in. Make sure it's plugged in. Select the dough setting. Oop, no. Not dough setting. Haha. -ha. Little mistake there. What are we supposed to select here? Medium crust. All right. So we'll select two, because it's going to cook inside. So in a mere two and a half hours, we will be eating rye, hopefully. I'll see you. All right, we're ready here. I'll tell you, though, unfortunately, I was going to take a shot of how nice the rye was in this thing. And then a little way into baking, oh, it fell. Boo. Oh well. So you should have seen this thing, like uh, even on the rise, it was like about like this. It was baking, baking, and I was probably peeking, and you're not supposed to peek, and you're not supposed to disturb bread, and you can see my bread fell. Boo. Oh well, I'm sure it's still going to taste good. Get out of my bowl. There we go. All right. Pop that back in there. We'll wait to go fishing that sucker out of there. That's going to be piping hot. But anyway, there you go. It's my blunted. I'm curious. It's going to be real interesting inside of right there. But the loaf sure looks nice, right? That came out looking nice. Has a real nice flavor to it, real strong. This is even the light one. Uh, there's a dark rye, and then there's also a pumpernickel recipe that we can do. So anyway, let's let this cool for an hour, and we'll come back and see. Hey, hello everybody. So here we are. Man, who punched my who, who punched my loaf? Somebody got angry here. So anyway, it rose so well, and then it fell during the baking process. So I think what happened was uh, I put probably too warm a water. I was a little hasty in uh, putting some warm water together. And let's see what we have here. That actually doesn't look terrible at all. It's very nice and fluffy, huh? Oh, fluffy. Very good. All right, so let's give this a little shot. See what it tastes like. So this is the part that uh, rose and fell I was expecting to find a huge hole inside of there. I'm kind of surprised. So, there we go. Taste test. Mmm. It's got a strong rye flavor. Mmm. It has some flavor to it. So 
that has uh, one tablespoon of toasted caraway seed and dark rye flour. One cup. It definitely has a strong rye. Hmm. Pretty good. I think I'll call it a success. It's pretty good looking bread. I think from here on out we're gonna be okay. Spongy. I think it'll be a winner. Certainly tastes good. We'll have to uh, go get some pastrami and make some sandwiches here. Anyway, I'm going to call it a success despite uh, somebody punching my loaf here. Anyway, everybody have a good week.